Now you want to control the other three LEDs using the buttons in the same block of code. So just like you did before, you can right click and use the duplicate command. Notice how I'm just clicking on the line starting with the set command and not all the way at the top, and then it only copies the code below that. So copy those three lines of code and add them to each of your other buttons. You'll notice that the program starts to get kind of big, so as you drag code off the bottom of the screen, it will add a scroll bar on the right to let you scroll up and down so you can see your entire program. So here I've used the duplicate command three times to make a total of four copies of the same code. Now you might notice one problem in all these blocks of code. They all say GPIO 22. And if you remember when you built your circuit, you connected your LEDs to four different GPIO pins, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So you're going to need to create three more variables by clicking on the Make a Variable button and then typing in GPIO 23, hit OK. Then do the same thing for GPIO 24 and GPIO 25. This will create three more variables, so you have four total. And then you can use the drop down menus in your code to select each variable individually and make one variable correspond to each button. So, for example, for the second arrow key, I'm going to switch to GPIO 23. And then for the third key, I'll use GPIO 24. And for the fourth key, I'll use GPIO 25. Now you should be set up to have your four arrow keys not only control the four different sound effects that are played, but also light up the four LEDs on your circuit. Now that was a lot of code, so let's go over this one more time just to make sure everything is clear. First you have a block that tells the program to do something when an arrow key is pressed. The next block tells it to play a sound, and then the next three blocks tell it to turn an LED on, wait for a fraction of a second, and then turn the LED off. You then repeated this section of code for each one of your four buttons to control four LEDs and four sound effects total. Now if you need to, remember to make sure that you have a different sound effect selected for each button. If you look closely at the video, you'll notice that I accidentally have the dog one sound effect selected for more than one button, but you can change that with the drop-down menu.